I'm going to try and do a flip through of easy peasy all in one homeschool math one and these are the parents guide and workbook edition so that I can work offline um, so this is a parents guide which is very thin um, it's about a little over five dollars and this is the workbook for the child, and this was about nine, eight, nine dollars. Um, Lee Giles is on this one, but I guess Puzzle Fast Books did the workbook for her. Not quite sure. It's the back of the workbook. Back of this. Okay, so let's go through the parents guide first. So the parents guide it says number concept patterns addition measurement geometry fraction money graph subtraction and time. So it starts with odds and evens. Tells you on day one. You'll need crayons, and then it gives you the objective. Students will count to 20. So day one, you'll do the worksheet. Day two, student will count to 100. You'll do the worksheet and still and so on. Day three will tell you what you need if you need anything. So day two, you didn't need anything because I can just do the worksheet in the workbook and quiz your child asking what number comes before or after a given number. So day three, we'll need crayons, blocks, or other small items. Day four, crayons. Day five, students will review odds and evens. And then day six, we'll start with writing numbers one through 100 and do patterns. Again, students will identify if I could focus that. Students will identify pattern, skip count by two, review counting, and odd numbers. There it is. And that goes through nine, ten, and then starting at eleven, um, number words, ordinals. So students will count with ordinal numbers, like first, second, third, fourth. Write the numbers from words. Write the words from numbers. And then we have adding zero and one. And then we have addition. Down at day 21. have counting backwards by 10 it's done at day 31 addition practice done at day 36 addition review it's done at day 41 pattern Patterns, addition practice. Um, this page starting at day 48, then comparing numbers starting at day 51. Measurements. Review starting at day 66. Okay, then geometry starting at day 71.
fraction starting at day 81. Money starting on day 91. Graphs starting at day 106. And subtraction, starting at day 116. Subtraction, introduction, continued, and fraction review. Starting at day 120, 121, sorry. Subtraction again at day 126. Review money at 141. Review graphs and fraction at 146. And time at 151. Page for day 151, I'm sorry. Pattern and beginner algebraic concepts at day 161. And then we will review starting at day 166. And it ends at day 180. So 180 days of school. Oh, I'll send me back uh, the answers to the workbook, which you probably won't need, but they're here. So that's a couple pages, and that's it for the teacher's book. Now I have the student workbook, which also says the same thing, number, concept, pattern, Addition, measurements, geometry, fraction, money, graph, subtraction, time. A how to use this workbook. Um, completion chart for day 1 through 45, 46 through 49, 91 through 135, 136 to 180. These are the math facts that they're going to periodically tell you to go over and quiz on for memory. So these are all the days that you're going to need. Day 1, day 2, day 3, all the way to day 180. Patterns, ordinal numbers, 
number words. Let's see. Time slowly in the back. It's gonna flip through quickly. Money. Adding and subtracting. This looks pretty thorough. And once again, you guys, if I haven't mentioned, well, I don't know if I mentioned, but if I did, once again, if I didn't, I'm sorry. Um, this is a free curriculum. You can actually do it solely on their website. Um, and everything is on there for free. Um, and it's easy peasy all in one homeschool. And everything is, is free on, on the on the website. I just decided to buy the book so that I can do it offline. Um, but again, you don't have to buy these books. You don't have to buy any of it. You can print it as you go. Um, if you use it on their website. Um, the only drawback that I can see from it is that it's very blah. Like there are no well that's the teacher but there are no colors but you know my daughter has the opportunity to color it um so we'll use that as an opportunity this curriculum is free so honestly i really have no complaints this book was a little over five and this was almost nine i think but that was it and um my daughter will be she's five now she'll be six in august and so we'll start um, first grade this fall. Um, so here's what we have for math, and I'll do some supplemental and for um, supplements um, as I can find them. Like she used hands-on, so we have the math links or math cubes. We have pattern blocks. We have counters. Um, so we have other things that we can use along with this to help spice it up a little bit, give us some color, give us some activities, or we can just go online on their website and there are activities on the computer, but I prefer her not to be on a computer because she has a tablet that she works on as well. So if I can get her away from the computer for her schoolwork, that would, that's the best for us. And, um, I don't know if you have any more questions. Let me know and I'll answer the best I can. Definitely not an expert. This is my first year homeschooling and going into my second year. So, trying the best I can. Math, EP Math 1, Parents Guide, EP Math 1 Workbook. Thank you so much. Bye.